Okay, so what we've got here is um, just a snapshot I've taken off of Google Earth um, that is showing the mineralized area where a lot of the gold mines um, north of Stanley and um, to the east of Beechworth were. And, of course, the, the well-known one is the, the Wallaby, uh, and next to it, the Recobite. They're over here. Uh, and then over here is where the Kerry Eagle was. And then further up here, this is the area of the Homeward Bound Reef here. So uh, Rocky Track comes down here, and Rocky Point Track goes down that way. That little mark there is actually the Mullachie from the uh, Adit for the Homeward Bound. And this mark over here is where the shaft is, which has got a fence around it as on a rocky track as it comes down the hill. Um, so how to be confident that those are those actual mines? Well, what I've done is I've overlaid here uh, a 1915, 1914, 1915 geological map of the Stanley area, which has all of these mines marked on it. Uh, and I've tried to get the right size and overlay it. They're not, they don't match up exactly but they're pretty close and uh, if you look firstly around this area here as I fade the geological map in um, you can see that the line of the creek here and in fact some of these side gullies actually match up really really well uh, and of course we've got Lake Kerford down here in the bottom corner and again I'll just fade that in and out uh, plus all of the allotments just to the north of Lake Kerford. And you can see that's I've got a pretty good match. It's not perfect, but it's good enough to confirm which mines were which here. So what we can see uh, up in the north of the map where the Homeward Bound is, if I bring that in, you can actually quite clearly see that that is the Homeward Bound line of reef. It's a very long line of reef, and it shows the location of their crushing battery down towards the, the lower nine mile as well. Uh, over to uh, the, the west a little bit here is the Evening Star, and that is located just in the crook where the road turns. And as you can see, there it is there. You make this very sharp turn here if you're coming from this direction. Uh, it's probably easy. It's certainly much easier to drive coming from this direction. But that's very hard to see. There is uh, a muller keep, and the attic goes in just in the crook of that road there. And then further down here, this is where the Kerry Eagle is. Now, I believe the shaft has been filled in because I can't find it anywhere. There's a lot of mines up along that road, actually. Uh, all the way along here, there's mining. But I believe there's a, there's a cleared area on the bend of this road, and, and I'm pretty confident that's where the shaft was. The adit is in this gully. If you walk up this gully, the adit runs in at the end of this gully, going in this direction, and I believe it hooks up to the, the Kerry Eagle shaft somewhere around here. Uh, in the other direction is Alitz, and again, I'll, I'll bring the other map back in, and there you can actually see the Kerry Eagle going that way. Alitz has an adit coming in here. They're both right next to each other. The Hope is over here. It's between the Kerry Eagle and the Wallaby, and this is the one. We're actually quite close to that road there where the closure is, and that's why I believe it's a stope from the Hope mine that's, that's probably caused the closure of that road when it's collapsed. Uh, here's one of the uh, adits here associated with the Wallaby Reef. The battery is exactly here, so this ties in very nicely. And the Recobite is on the other side of this creek here, and that all ties in very nicely because that's exactly where it is. So um, that's where those mines are. Um, we can go to all of those and have a look. Um, and the Homeward Bound one, uh, as you can see, is quite a distance from the others, and it definitely ties in geologically with where those are so that one that some people call the Kerry Eagle sometimes in the middle of the road it's it's not the Kerry Eagle's a long long way away from that and I don't think that the main shaft is still there but I'm, I'm perfectly happy to be proven wrong on that uh, at any time I just haven't been able to find it yet